Mogwin Palace, a location that is heavily sought after by Elden Ring players because it's the place you fight Moog, the Lord of Blood, which is one of the Dimby Gods, and most importantly, because it has the best rune farming spots in the game. And believe it or not, you can actually get here fairly early on in the game to really inject your tarnished with those extra levels. When you first emerge and witness the beauty that is the lanes between, you'll be greeted and need to talk to Vare, the NPC with the white mask and cloth over their head. You know, the one that calls you maidenless right to your face. Yeah, that one. Well, after he is done degrading your lack of maidens, Vare will tell you that you need to go to visit Godric in Stormville Castle. And after you show Godric who the boss really is around these parts, you will then need to head back to the First Steps Grace and speak with Vare once more. He will congratulate you and then direct you to head to the Round Table Hold. Here you will need to speak to the Finger Reader Aenea. If you're having trouble finding her, spawn into the Round Table Hold and head to the room that is southwest. If you see two giant fingers and an old lady in the room, then you're in the right place. After speaking with her, you'll need to report back to Vare, but now he has moved to a different location, the Rose Church, which, if you didn't know, is in Liurnia, south of the Rea Lucaria Academy and southwest of Academy Gate Town at the location on the map. Vare will be waiting for you out front and you'll need to have a conversation with him, but know that you will be given a choice in the conversation and you must choose the option they didn't seem right. Once you do that, he will then give you some pretty honest thoughts on how he feels about the two fingers. Keep talking to him until he tells you that he has a gift for you. That gift will be five of the festering bloody fingers, and then he calls you Lambkin, which is weird enough for us to mention, but not weird enough for us to spend a bunch of time on. So let's move on, shall we? You will use these festering bloody fingers to invade other players' worlds. It is very important that you do this three times. We want to repeat that again for importance. Three times. You don't have to kill anyone for it to matter. The results here do not matter, just the invasions themselves. So after you've invaded someone else's world three times, you guessed it, go back to the Rose Church and speak with Vare again. He calls us Lambkin again, and now it, it's kind of starting to get awkward. Allow Vare to anoint you and he will give you the Lord of Blood's favor, which looks like a plain white cloth. It is then your job to go soak that cloth in the blood of a maiden. Vare proceeds to remind us yet again that we are maidenless. Thanks, dude. And that the blood of any maiden will do. But where are we supposed to find a maiden if we are maidenless? The Church of Inhibition is where you'll find a maiden, but it can be incredibly tricky to find and access. So, we advise you pay close attention to us and follow our path to get to the Church of Inhibition. Once you reach the church, you will be invaded, so we highly advise you run into the church quickly and touch the grace so that if you happen to die, you will be respawned at that grace and not lose your progress. Right next to the Grace, on the north side, will be a Maiden. A dead Maiden, which will have an outfit on it that you can take because I guess they won't be needing it anymore. And then you will have the option or prompt to dye the cloth with the Maiden's blood. After doing this, you're right yet again, back to the Rose Church we go. Another awkward lambkin from Vare, and then he proceeds to tell us to give him our finger. Weird, yes, but offer him your finger and then, um... This happens. Yeah, not only does he call you maidenless and lambkin an uncomfortable amount of times, but he also removes a finger from your hand and then gives it back to you because that's normal so that you can invade other players' worlds an unlimited amount of times. And that's not all. You'll need to talk to him once again and you'll get the Pure Bloods Knight's Medal, which when used, will teleport you to Mogwin Palace, a place that, as we mentioned before, has some of the best rune farming spots in the game. From the grace, turn northwest and you'll see a giant bird. All you have to do is hit the bird with the arrow and it will try to aggro onto you and run off the cliff and fall. You'll have to find the right spot that it can consistently fall from, but once you get a rhythm, you'll be getting 13,000 runes every time the bird falls. That is, if you have the Golden Scarab Talisman. The other attraction of Mogwin Palace is the demigod that occupies this area, Mog, the Lord of Blood. 
This boss fight is tough and took us quite a bit of time to beat, as Mo has a plethora of moves from short range to long range and everything in between. Even though he is the Lord of Blood, Moog is actually weak to bleed damage himself, and if you happen to have the Purifying Crystal tier for your Wondrous Physic, it will make a huge difference in this fight. We hope this helps you out and helps you gain some of those valuable levels. Consider leaving a like and subscribing for future videos, and we'll see you in the next one.